<laughs> but still that same level of TOD power, that same level of variety of combo openers, whether it be off of grab, off of rising fair, off of falling nair, off of uh, falling up air, off of a rising up air. Character can get a lot of damage really quickly, even if not all of them are netting you stocks. All, every single one is putting you into a big Luigi vortex, and it's going to be on Gen to ensure that those moments are few and far between because for Luigi, all it takes is one. Absolutely, and we're definitely going to start out this game on PS2 and we're already seeing a little bit of the Gen Neutral. The one thing I really love to say about Gen is that Gen has such an amazing neutral, just an amazing player overall, but the one thing that we do love to say oh. is that you don't. That was very sad. That was great to sad. I don't know how to feel about that, but I do love just the way that Jen goes about applying everything that they know about this game into this one character, because we do know Palutena is a very Fundies heavy character. There's not that much to it other than just Fundies and like well, Palutena and Nair go, you know. I mean, it, Fundies in a top tier way, I'm gonna say that. Ca character is far from bad, but uh, you also have to take him and be victim to some things like this. A lot of times Luigi is able to get out of combos and get out of situations with that uh, with that down B or even with just that neutral air and Palutena has is forced to play around that. Oh, very, very nice play there from Scott, able to get the drift off as well from that side B, forced Jen into a little bit of an overextension who has been looking for some pretty extreme edge guards. Lots of dares, trying to mix up the, uh, the availability of that option there, but Keeping things even, Scott playing around this offstage game extremely well thus far. And the slide off again prevents the landing of the up air, but the explosive flame stuffs out the green missile. And here we are with Jen leading in this first stop. Oh, not for long though. Up smash, no. out of shield. <laughs> it's like Absolutely. the it's the kind of evolution that I was talking about a little earlier as we see a Palutena combo come and keep on going through. The if if Luigi is always landing with side uh, always landing with down B then uh, uh, Jen can dash attack that. But if Scott decides not to do that, he can pull up his shield and punish said dash attack in just as quickly. It's a neat little interaction, and plenty of them are going to have to come in the fall in the way of one player or the other, especially if Scott is going to want to make this comeback. Absolutely, and as we're getting onto this game, we're still seeing a very, 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 you know, not even close because there's... There's nothing close about this. This is 136% on the board right now, going up 149, and it's just so hard for, you know, Scott to even contend with this and just putting on so much pressure, forcing that roll into the up tilt, getting that second stock going on the board, and this is just so good on, you know, Jen's part, but I don't know how Scott really wants to contend with this because, again, this is going to be so hard to be able to find your way in consistently and put on a lot of damage. Oh, looking for a big... Oh, wait! They didn't get an up B. They didn't get a down B. No finisher on that landing there. That could have been a huge stock closer and such a swing of the momentum, but instead, Scott is still working on this second stock, trying to find the mix-ups there. Down throw into just a rising fair. Again, dropping potential stock closers, and Jen is wow. still kicking, still <laughs> around. Jen is just... Jen, you can't kill the, you can't kill the goddess. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's this... Pl this plumber's gonna have to work pretty hard in order to approach just uh, how uh, stable and how consistent Jen's Palutena has been always managing that spacing and always managing that threat range that Luigi constantly, that Luigi provides in every waking moment. Palutena's speed second uh, to not many in this game and able to drop with that Nair, get the trade, <laughs> miss the finisher, but still establish exactly what Palutena does best. Which that is was not establishing what she does best. That's establishing dominance. That too. See that? Okay, let's be really honest. That was just Jen being like, I know what I'm doing here. You need to go home. Uh, we can't be doing this anymore. Did you see that? That I, was really funny. I was watching. That was, okay. Well, I mean, we're both, <laughs> we're both watching this because this is what we're supposed to. This is what we're here for. No, it's but, a, <laughs> I think you're exactly right, though. The establishment of what Jen does best the establishment of Palutena's speed, Palutena's control over the game state, and what 
is uh, Luigi to do except fish for some of the big combo starters that we saw that Scott is able to do. That rising fair to, that turned into 77%, insane. We saw maybe two of them. <laughs> and it's hard. It's hard to hit Palutena, especially with the juggle game that she displays, the movement with the teleports, the ledge trapping that keeps on keeping on. It is, it's a lot to overcome, but one grab can lead it to it all. One grad bleeding to death only at 62%. This is not looking too fun for a gen because that was like one of the best ways to take off a stock. But it happened. And oh. it, it's looking like he wants to go again. He wants to have another, you know, loss of a stock. And just, wow, already having such a good, you know, first stock coming in from Scott. And coming from such a really, like, you know, convincing game one, what Jen needs to really do is be able to hold this, like, really nice, like, you know, lead and just try to do something, you know, after he gets a stop. You know, that's exactly where it's going to start. Oh, the explosive flame does connect at the very end. I think Scott must have dropped shield uh, thinking that the explosive flame wouldn't, uh, wouldn't reach that size. It ended up connecting, though, and... It gives Jen a means to get back into this game a little bit prematurely than I think both of them expected. And Jen doing a good job of just letting the projectiles do the, do the talking. Hey, I don't want to interact with Luigi at mid to close range, so we'll just use those long range buttons, get Luigi into a disadvantage, and let that take him to 91, to 102 now. A ledge trap falling through thanks to the quick getup attack from Scott who's rolled in more than a fair share of times and something that he should look out for because Jen is starting to catch on to that habit. Absolutely, and this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what Jen needed, was to be able to take the lead and be able to, like, kind of just fight for what was supposed to be, like, his at this point, honestly. Like, he's saying right now, I was supposed to have this lead, and then he kills me because you're weechy. Oh, my God. And taking off that last to second, second to last dog, and this is definitely what we're gonna see. Ooh, right. But responding in kind with a really nice back air, making it super even and saying, I'm not going down without a fight. Uh, Jen trying to respect the down B or the Nair coming out from Luigi, cutting the combo a little bit short, but still 40% is nothing to scoff at. You are still forcing Luigi to find one of these openers, and there it is, game. No, pivoting into a different combo route of trying to account for SDI, but I, uh, the SDI up, I believe, from Jen to avoid the uh, the correct hit of falling up air. Still, and it resulted in 90 instead of a stock, but you do gotta worry about your own stock now. Gotta wonder if you should have taken the chance anyway. Oh, but Scott got away with it and able to land a parry to reserve back to neutral. Down throw into the down B. Is that game? It is. 1-1. Absolutely. One, one. Making it so close at the end there. This is, honestly, it was really good on, you know, just, you know, Jen's part being able to keep a lot of the ledge trapping going on. But Scott was definitely picking it up there. And that's exactly what Scott really needed to be able to take this game. Because that really nice first dog, that led for so much. But, you know, at this point, we have to know how Scott is going to be able to do better. You know, honestly, because Scott literally almost could have lost that. I'm going to be honest. Oh, yeah. Super like, we already know. Game. It was definitely a super close game, but we need to see a little bit better on the advantage side because we already know how good that, you know, Jen can just control a lot of ledge trap situations. The crawl on the platform trying to avoid a falling back air. It did not work out. And again, accounting for some SDI. The SDI up and in that time from Jen got them to the platform and avoided a big, big combo there from... Uh, from Scott Luigi, who's slowly but surely been up, uh, up picking at the knot that is Pal Jen's Palutena. Finding ways to open up, finding co more consistent means of starting combos and the correct combo routes to go for. But you can't solve a player just through one game. You always got to work a little bit harder than that, especially with this role habit that Jen has really come, into, uh, come to exploit multiple times over. Absolutely, and here we go again, just setting re back, setting resetting back to neutral, just making a really even game at this point, and still controlling that ledge perfectly, getting that really nice call out on the jump. 
making this a really cool game to watch. I really honestly love the way that we see so many ledge trap positions, but that down throw into up B is going to take that stock. And this is absolutely crazy. I really want to know how this game is going to end out because they're still making it so even. And we're looking at a really, really good combo right there. Not going to do too much with it, but still putting on 80%. And we need to see something on Jen's end, try to respond with something that's going to be able to get him a little bit more damage. Oh, but the down throw into the down B just an, uh, able to survive with the correct DI and turn that teleport cancel into a big combo of their own. Blocking the green missile, but uh, Scott did have their jump on deck. That could have been an up smash. That could have been a much harder punish. Instead, just taking the dash attack. And Jen at an opportunity here to reversal from a ledge or perhaps just survive a little bit by bit. Oh, that was so scary. I'm waiting for the out-of-shield option from Scott, but they're being so disciplined. Waiting for their opportunity to find that ledge trump, but it was a sour spot back air. Not as not as ideal as you would like to as you would want here as Scott once more finds himself at a position where hey how do I close out this stock? Ooh. Absolutely, and here's the thing too because this is what you know Scott actually needs to be able to get to those really nice neutral interactions. But the only thing stopping him right now is the percent. Look at what percent Jen is at, and this is definitely what you know Scott's gonna need to be able to take that stock at 182 percent. But we need, I'm sorry, we need these really consistent, you know, neutral um, neutral starters that end to really good combos. And this is exactly what's gonna help Scott in the future, making it so easy, so much easier for him to be able to contend with Jen, who has a really good, you know, combo game, has a really good advantage, which is really good, you know, ledge trapping situation. Just making really good use of that disadvantage is going to be so fundamentally good for oh, Scott. Here's, here's that combo game converting into dash attack, though, that time. I like how Jen is approaching this neutral with a lot more reservations, not trying to let Scott uh, just have their way and run right into their awaiting grip. Just a rising there, though. It feels like Scott has just found found the proper openings, but always going for the high percentage hit, not trying to send it all or nothing quite yet. As that is a forward smash, that is a closed-out stock on the too high recovery from Scott there. 107, though. Uh, there's a big means of connection there. 42, seeing the down air actually challenging this time because they see time and time again that Scott isn't as prone to go for down Bs in order to try and reversal at a disadvantage, which just means more potential juggles and more of all of the Palutena buttons that are so strong in her kit. That up air has never been changed and it's never going to be because it very well just might close out this stock. Absolutely. Ooh, I really tense. love the, you know, I really love the patience coming in from Jen knowing that he cannot go for that edge guard because it will lead in the loss of stage control and getting back that stage control, throwing him right back off stage. Now, is this going to be where we see that edge guard and that downer is going to take it? I am so hyped because you know, I, I not even because I like playing Palutena, but I love the way that Jen does these things. Such really nice edge guards and I was waiting for it. I was like, oh my god, he's definitely going to wait before he actually chooses to do something. And then look, look, waiting on lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And wait, 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 wait. Boom. Down there. Stomped on him. Quintessential. Get him out of here. That's proper situational awareness and proper uh, counterplay to Luigi. You see that green missile? Approach from at the top. Can hit with just about anything. Take that deep breath. And understand that it doesn't matter if I can't recover. I just need to be able to make sure that, uh, that Scott dies first. And Jen playing it perfect in that final stock and, and closing out game number three in a set that could very easily go to yet another five games because these two have been slamming back and forth. Absolutely, and we're already seeing such a really good advantage coming in from Jen getting up that up air, taking off the stop. So remember when I said last game that Scott seems a, a little bit more reserved in going for something like down B or Nair to break combos? Well, Jen figured that out too. <laughs> and they figured it out last game, but this game they took it for a whole stock, and that is such a big answer of like, hey, you're not doing something normally for Luigi? That's fine. Luigi players do it because it's good. Just like that upbeat out of shield, <laughs> able to close out the stock and keep this game even. Yes, I know, 85 to zero. Like, there's a percent lead here. Yes, but one grab does it all. 
And, and speaking of whoa, that but grab. Scott's going to need Ooh. two of them to make it back because one grab from Jen, as you were mentioning, Jazzy's hard to cut you off because that is a... Oh, wait, Jen just keeps on rolling. <laughs> Jen just keeps on going. It's like a little, like, hamster on a wheel. Keeps on going. It does not stop. Not even in the, the sense of just, like, just, like, me no think. No, me think it. Me think a lot. Just, like, all these really good situations. Just really nice back throw or down throw to back air right there. Taking out that stock. And we're still putting on so much damage right here. Getting that nice narrow and trying to take it all with that F mash not getting it right there, but we are still trying to end this game right here. Jen is saying, I want you dead and I want you dead now. And you're definitely doing something because you're at 94%. You're looking like you're going to be gone in about a few seconds. This is a confident Jen. And this is the power that confidence can bring you. That what, uh, what you can get by feeling that flow. And Scott's going to need to find a way to chop that into two. Unable to get the conversion off of that landing there despite the read that they made. Oh, that's nothing. They didn't get anything but the roll read. Jen, one step ahead. Okay. Um, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> Try to go for it again, the, but you're the not down, I guess the downsides of feeling that flow is sometimes you give it all up and you may have gave up the game. Oh, oh, he keeps going. No. He keeps reading the SDI. He keeps reading the DI and turn that into 84. No. Turn that into a stop. No. Not yet. Not yet. Not <laughs> dead yet. This is such a really close game because you've decided to feel yourself. And that is not going to be where Jen takes it. <laughs> Jen is definitely ready? trying something. Trying to go for that up smash read. Jen is definitely feeling a little bit scared because he knew he was doing something wrong. Getting that up smash. Going for a game five. What you talking about? This is not a hype game. Jen was like, mm, I'm, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself like Beyonce said. And this is what happens. You die for feeling yourself a little too much. You got yo. And he just right. shrugs. The shrug after is killing me. It's like, all right, well, you know. <laughs> Jen threw the stock away and I Luigi him for a stock. Not even with the, like a normal zero to death, the normal like Luigi combo that you see. It was <laughs> just the. It was well played on Scott's part, finding multiple openers and able to eventually find the finisher out of shield with that up smash. Jen has, I mean, still play with confidence, but maybe not sacrifice your own uh, your own stocks in order to p appease that confidence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that was just a little bit of an ego check right there. What a else little can bit, you say? Yeah, that's <laughs> like, just a little bit, a little <laughs> tiny bit. You know, I had to had to do a little something to him to just be like, sit down, doggy. That's exactly what happened right there. And speaking of sitting down, Scott is trying to make Jen sit down with all of these combos, putting on a little bit of 60%, but still trying to keep on a little bit Fair. of the damage going and getting that back air really nice on Jen to take that first stock. And this is where the ego check comes in. We don't want a repeat of that last game. We're in a game five situation. You better calm down. Uh-uh. Be cool, be calm, be flexible, be collected. Just like Scott is there, seeing the explosive flame and grabbing straight through it, looking for another one. But the quick crouch into the rising aerial, that was so nice from Scott to avoid the avoid the rising aerial from Jen and get a, get a little bit of damage of their own into a ledge trap. Zare into dash attack, reset, catching the jump from ledge with a grab. 80% here is Scott on the verge of a really big upset, but misses the uppy, but no punish. Absolutely, that's so crazy, but we are going to see that punish in taking the form of that nice Nair, starting something, not getting too much off of it, but we do need to see Jen do a little bit something more than that to be able to take this game. Really nice platform chase, not going to get too much off of it, but this is still entirely super scary because we need to see Jen do something, control the match because it's looking like it's slowly falling out of his hands with that back air very narrowly taking off that stock, recovering just fine. But that down B is going to take it. Jen is looking so scared right now. He is on his second stock. He needs to do something. This yeah, the is looking really scary. The wind box closing out, uh, part, being part of the problem when it came to closing out that second stock from Jen, who is looking for an answer to some of these fireballs, taking a couple. But you got to be worried about every hit from Luigi. It can turn into so much. The dash attack breaks on through as Scott does the do-nothing game and is able to get away with all of this, just not able to take a strong hit. Finally, that back air, but the explosive flame forces out the air dodge, yet no finisher. Unable to close out the stock here is Jen. I mean, 
115, you're, that's that prime position where you're looking for a two frame, you're looking for a back air. And despite Jen looking so strong in game in uh, the first stock of this and even er earlier games, but took the jump with the auto radical of this game and finally re uh, reviving itself into an extremely even position. All it takes is one there for Palutena to work all of this damage back and uh, Jen be looking for it. Absolutely, this is so scary, and we're, this is where we're seeing that a little bit of confidence. Wait, what? What happened? What happened? Oh what? my God! Did did the venue? What? Okay, it doesn't seem like we lost uh, power in the venue, but it, we lost. Oh. What happened? How do we? Wait. I don't know how to feel about that because I feel like Jen died. So, I think I, th I think the stage lost power. So it seems like the stage lost like lost power in some form, and because of the and because of that, it turned into <laughs> the switch mode where the game still go the game still proceeded. Are they just we instantly lost power. running? Are they just instantly running They're back to game five? Are they just gonna do it again? We gonna run what? We gonna run it back to a last stock last hit situation. I don't know how to feel they're about this. They're I just gonna run it this. straight back into a last stock situation. They just decided that. It was like, okay. Listen, I love that for them. I don't even know what the... Okay, no, they're working themselves back to the damage that they just got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... They might, hold on. Yeah, I'm hot. Uh, someone tripped on a cable or something. Apparently God! something wasn't fastened. Dang it. Why you gotta trip on a cable? Oh, Lord. Uh-uh. Right. Uh -uh. no. okay. That's crazy. Okay. But both, both players have just uh, gentlemen to let's reset as close as we can get to the previous situation. Go. Before and honestly, <laughs> let's just eject that other person into the sun. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> All right. Listen, but I'm gonna do it for you. I don't know what's going on here, but we're definitely saying a little bit of a really scary situation because we're getting right back into it. 55% to 73. Jen did not take a single percent, but this is still really scary for Jen because Jen can die at this percent. Yeah. Is that what we're going to see? We're going to see a down air not kill really nice DI, but that back air is going to take it. I'm still getting hyped because this game was so good. Oh my god. It just feels like it has such a dampener. Not because of the play from either player, just the little bit of technical difficulties Do shutting you know, down momentum. It's not no technical honest, difficulties. Somebody, okay. somebody the little with, bit of, is of giving technical unawareness from a, someone, whoever it was. You know who that someone was? I don't know who that someone was, know. but they know who they is. And they messed up a whole game. And let me just talk about this. Jen had a lot. I, re I really love talking about Jen. If you didn't know, Jen is my favorite player. Not because he plays ball team, but because my favorite player is so good. But a lot of what's happening when it comes to Jen's playing is that he has all these really fundamentally solid things about his play. He right. has the ledge trap. He has the advantage. He has so many good things about the way that he plays. And it's allowed him to take so many close games. But the way that, you know, um, Scott was actually just going about, you know, Taking a lot of his not not at the time because it was real, it was a little fast it was a little fast game yeah. but just taking a lot of the neutral instances getting those really nice stock openers to be able to take those stocks and it makes it so much more of a hard time for Jen to actually do anything because now Jen is in not in the lead Jen has to really think about what he's gonna do but I don't want to take too much of that all game I just really love talking about Palutena and Jen. But we're going to get to my new favorite player um, because I am only a Tilde fan when I am on the mic. <laughs> Off of the mic, I don't know what you want me to do. What am I supposed to do with, it, with okay. this curly well, we, hair? We've got, <laughs> we've got Jen and Dark Boots coming up. A kind of new, uh, some new age New York classic. I, I say new age, but Dark Boots has been around for a minute. But he mm -hmm. has ascended as of recently with the Kazuya. addition of Kazuya Mishima. Now, if you did not know. Dark Blues uh, is an actual Tekken player. He played Tekken before playing Smash Ultimate, played Tekken while playing Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate, and then the Tekken guy...